you know, very long explanation. Most of most of the most of the theories involved with automated elections were already discussed by my colleague here. So what I'm going to show you right now is a, a practical approach. How do we use this technology in the precinct? Now, first of all, just a very very uh, brief summary. What this technology entails. This is what we call the PCOS, or the precinct count optical scan uh, technology. Precinct meaning that it's uh, found in the precinct and the voters get to interface with this machine in the precinct. And it's counting, meaning that uh, as Cesar mentioned earlier, uh, it, we don't actually automate the voting process. What we automate is the counting onwards towards the transmission to the proclamation. So it's not automated voting. We actually use Assessor mentioned already, the ballot, we still use a ballot, paper ballot, we manually shade or select our candidates here by shading or marking the ballot. And that mark is what the technology uh, interprets or reads. Now, okay, the, the basics are there. How do we use this practically during the voting, during the voting day? Okay, right now, uh, let's imagine that I just started the machine. What you're going to see is an interface here that's basically in locked mode. Why is it locked? Because the poll watcher or the the person who's, who has their authority and responsibility, you know, normally it's the chairman of the BIs, has not yet opened the elections. How do I open the elections? How do I access the system? I, with this technology, I use what we call the security key. This is a security key. Um, technically, it's called my button, but uh, this, in, in layman's terms, it's a security key to access the functionality of the system. So I've already asked this, access it now. Now all I have to do is press the start button here. At this point, even even if I feed ballots into the system, it won't be accepted. Because hindi pa bukas ang election. It's not yet 7 a.m. The BEI has not yet opened the elections. Now, what I'm going to do is open the elections. At that point in time, it's going to prompt me for a password. It actually prompts, based on the Comelec requirement, two passwords from two different people. So, I, for, for example, I'm Paul Worker 1. I input my password. And then it prompts the second Paul Worker for their own password. I input it again. And then I press zero and open. What it does is that it basically zeroes the the system. It makes sure that there are no votes inside the system preloaded, and it prints out what we call a zero vote document. What is this for? It basically um, shows an audit control that there is no vote pre-registered in the system. It uh, it automates the process of inverting the ballot box. To show that there are no uh, there are no votes yet there. Tear it out, but uh, okay, I'll, I'll tear it out now so that I could pass it around. If you notice, the zero vote document is actually an election return that that shows zero results. Even started. What you would see on the screen here is please insert ballot. Now I'm going to insert this ballot that Cesar filled up a while ago. I, I, I didn't fill the other side. You want to fill another one? No, that's okay. Um, I just want to show you how it goes inside the machine. I think I wrote some numbers. Now what it does is it casts the ballot. The ballot is already inside the ballot box. Now, what Cesar did was he just shaded a few options in some of the contests. I undervoted in many of the contests. You basically undervoted in many of the contests. So, an undervote is basically a legal vote. It's just that you didn't select any of the candidates there for that particular contest. Now, what would appear for that particular ballot is count of zero for that particular contest that you undervoted for. But if you perform an overvote, for 
example, for the president's position, you shaded or marked two selections. What the technology does, and it's based on COMELEC's requirement, is that it uh, basically cancels that particular contest. It doesn't count the result for that contest. But for the other contests, for example, for the vice president, for the mayor, for the governor, uh, the, the votes there are still valid unless we did another overvote there. That's how the technology works. I will insert a ballot that is meant for another uh, another district. So basically this configuration has been configured, well this PICOS machine has been configured for the province of Sorsogo and for the city of Don's Hall. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a ballot from the city of the Bacon district of Sorsogon also. So I'm going to insert this and let's see what happens. It says here, warning, invalid ballot detected. Please ensure you receive the correct ballot. And anong ginawa niya? Giluwa niya yung papel. Basically, it rejected a ballot that's not meant for this machine. This is how, uh, this is just one of the many security features that uh, the technology possesses. So it rejects a fake, uh, what do you call that? An invalid ballot, uh, a fake and spurious ballot. So now I'm going to insert another ballot. Now this is basically blank. So basically we're going to have a lot of uh, undervotes here. And it basically accepts it. There you go. Now this is a pre-filled ballot. Uh, I did the demo earlier and this is one of the ballots that were filled up there. I'm going to insert this. And if you notice, I just wanted to highlight to you guys that uh, for the party list contest, there were two uh, selections made. There you go. Party list. Uh, the, the voters selected for Butil Farmers Party and Senior Citizens Elderly Party. Now, what we would expect here is that uh, it's going to cancel out this particular contest. It will not count the shaded marks here for that contest. But it will still accept the, the ballot. Hindi siya i re check Ano yung voto doon sa ano wala? Ano po, sir? Yung sa party list. Kung mag i-cancel lang po, hindi na niya po babasakin yung sinelect. So, as you see, um, pumasok po yung, ano, yung ballot. Training is the key. But in that case, is there a 